The technique of containment gets a lot of use in branding, but it can still be a valuable tool. Let's talk about it. I see containment in two ways, shallow containment and deep containment. Shallow containment is merely placing a shape around a signature. Consequently, the image has not much more design value added than a plain signature. As I said before, a signature alone, merely choosing a certain font to write the company's name, gives little design value added. As with uncontained signatures, it is mostly reserved for consumer product identities and the companies that make them, and is not as suitable for other kinds of corporate identities. Still, shallow containment is a common practice. Deep containment, on the other hand, the use of a containing shape can sometimes be the salvation of a decent design that might fail due to other considerations. Lack of contrast in the body of the shell in the shell logo is saved by the darker red containment. On the right, the leading edge of the white golf ball would have no contrast against the white background. The addition of zoom marks on the dark side completes the trailing edge. Containing a design can give a logical boundary or stopping place for an image, like a picture frame, as with these samples. Containers can contribute mass to designs that might be too insubstantial without them. Containers can compensate somewhat for a color that is almost too light, giving the design color mass distinct from image mass already mentioned. Containers can provide unity and cohesiveness to word cluster style word marks or reinforce a shape in a word mark. Containment can echo the shape of a specific letter form. Containers can contrast with the shapes contained. Containers can harmonize with the shapes contained. Containment can give symmetry or help center unsymmetrical shapes or change the overall shape of the significant design element. Containment can be the template for the whole design. Meaningful containment is a useful visual treatment and should be part of every identity designer's toolbox. For more information, go to logodesigntheory.com. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and share it with anyone who needs to know more about logo design.